welcome back everyone to the lecture. Uh, for this lecture, we're going to discuss names and how NIM handles variable names. Now, one thing I wanted, to, wanted you to note here is that if you make a variable, NIM will ignore the underscores and uh, everything else after the first character of that variable name. So let me give you an example on this. Let's say I have a variable called my variable, right? And the value is, let's say, you know, it's an integer and uh, let's say it's a string actually. And it's equal first variable, okay? So let's say it's like that. Then I come back here and say my variable like this. And it will be a string and, uh, you know, it will be equal second variable. All right, and if I save this, look what happens. I get an error immediately. What's the error? It says here, redefinition of my variable, previous declaration here. So it's pointing to line one. So it's basically saying, hey, you've created a new variable called my variable, but it already exists here. Why? How is this the same thing? I mean, they're clearly different. Well, according to NIM, if you have an underscore, it will just ignore it. And if you have a, a case letter, it will also ignore that. So this V, whoops, sorry. So this v, lowercase V right here is the same as this uppercase V right here. The only exception to this rule is the very first character right here. So in NIM's eyes, these two, after the letter M, because letter M is the same as the first character, everything else, this one, and this one are the exact same. So these two parts are the exact same because NIM ignores the underscore and it ignores the uppercase letter. If we come back here and say my variable, uh, you know, equals this and save this, you'll see that the error will be gone because right here we're renaming this variable and saying, hey, the value is going to be second variable. And in fact, to prove you that this works, I'm going to select this one and we're going to print it out. So let's say echo and uh, which I'm going to just type this and uh, paste this and look what happens now. If I go back here and recompile this, right, and then I do this, it will say which second variable come back here, second variable, even though we're printing this one, you would expect to print first variable. But again, because this is the same exact variable, it will print something else. Now, if this was different, if I did this, however, so if I came back here and said var my uh, variable string equals second variable, this is completely acceptable. Why? Because the first character is completely different. So this is a completely different variable. All right. So if I go back here and recompile this and print this, it will actually print nothing because I'm printing nothing. So I'm going to do echo, uh, which and my variable right here, recompile run and it will say first variable. So now on this one works. Okay, so that's how naming uh, is treated in NIM. Okay, so that is it for this lecture. Hope you uh, enjoyed it and learned something from it. And uh, I'll see you next lecture. Peace out.